Hello, it's Joe Glines, and today we're going to review um, using continuation sections or, or having a long hot string basically or something, some text you want to insert somewhere. Um, actually, in my example here, I have it both as a hot key and a hot string just because I don't want to be typing the whole thing over and over the, uh, the hot string, as lazy as I am. Um, and so for, for new people here, um, this is the format for a hot key, so my browser back button is going to trigger this, but I also have this J1 period, which is also, both of these are going to trigger this down here, down to this return. Um, and down here I have my right alt and browser back, uh, forward button reloading the script. So when I save it, I can, um, after I can save it, hit hit reload, and it reloads my script, which is on the other screen, so you can't actually see it, um, it refreshed, but it did. And um, what I wanted to demonstrate was sometimes you have some some long text, especially with line breaks and stuff that you, yeah, you can put in. Like, let me give you an example here. So, uh, you know, what, and I'll I'll do it down at the bottom here. So, if I was to add, um, every time I type J period, oh, of course I actually have a hot string for that. J two period. Um, this. And I want to put a tick mark line return was tick mark line return. Cool. Now I'm going to save it, reload it. Now, when I type J2 period space, it puts in line breaks um, followed by a space because I didn't put an, an O in here. Um, but anyway, that's when you have multiple lines. Now, when you have a lot of lines, um, complex lines, it's often I really like being able to see it exactly how I want it. Right, yeah, I can consolidate, and actually if I look here, if we scroll up, you'll see every once in a while some of these that I have, I, I do just use the tick mark um, and new line feed instead of breaking it all out. Um, here's a good example. Here we go. So see on this line, right, this one actually, I did it that way, where it, it doesn't um, use the continuation section, because I just didn't care to see it exactly how it is when it gets sent. Uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Um, I would rather look at it of like it's supposed to be. So actually let me let me um, come to here and now I can type, uh, you know what, let me make sure this is language. SQL. And now if I type J1 oh, one period space, it, it um, site is auto indenting it. Let's go back, let's go to notepad. So J1 period space. Um, so now it looks ex should be exactly how it is right here, right? So I have the first line is not indented, the rest are indented, followed by all this, right? Now um, I want to go through. This is nice, and, and there is a limit on how many characters. It's quite a bit. Um, and if you run in the character limit, you could break it up, or you could do like a file read and store it. Um, it just depends on your preferred approach. But what what um what I also like about the join command, which here here are a couple tips and tricks of like. So I have here are some of the options, right? So this 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 is going to put in um, the the line return, and you can also do it line return new line. But on on my work computer, for some reason, the program I use. And I, I, I don't let me get rid of site because it, it wants to auto indent the stuff and it's not a good example. I don't know why it, right suddenly it's sending that U at the beginning. Um I'll have to look at that. So so notice and actually here it did it too. So notice how it's putting the um a blank line in there and so after each one and that that was because I had added that. So let me reload it, come back to notepad and run it. Now it, it didn't do that, it looks virtually exactly like uh well, let me shrink this down so we can see it better there we go so it looks exactly like this is now um it's what it's doing is it's saying after each line right look at each line and even though it's in the text it it appends this tick r um in the, or a line break to the end of each line right and you can actually change that. So let's say, and that's what I put up here. So let's say we put tick S. So let's say that's why it's join, right? You're joining each line, and then you're telling to join each line with what character. So I'm going to save this, reload it. Now when we go back to Notepad, 
and I, I do the same thing, notice it puts it on one line. And it puts it on one line, and there will be a sp here. This see, there's no space, and here there was a space, and then um, it probably has something to do with how it's replacing stuff, but it, it's putting in an insert. Um, oh, there you. There we go. There's where that you. Some I I I was wondering where that was coming from. Um, so now now when I uh, let me get rid of all this. So now there's no you at the beginning, but there's still this line. Now let's say I wanted a tab to join between them, concatenate them with a tab, right? I can just do this, come back into Notepad, hit that, and now there's tabs. So just that very first one, now it's a tab instead of a space, right? Or um, let's do a pipe, right? Obviously a pipe is much more visual. And I, I, I always get confused, like I want to put it right next to join, but I don't think that works. There we go. Where did it go? So it didn't work. Let me try this again, and maybe I do have to have it right there. There we go. So notice the pipe. And a pipe, right? So it's 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 saying, what do you want to concatenate them with? Um, and so let me go back to my original one here. We'll save it, reload it, and just demonstrate it. It's back to normal. Okay, so line breaks. Now, this I have a, a field in here that says comment, right? And this allows me to insert auto hotkey comment. So this is, I wrote a note to myself here for my auto hotkey script to remind me what this line does. However, when we look in the, what gets dumped out, you'll notice it actually isn't in that line there. Right, let's let's actually let me know it let's So now when I I do this, I'm gonna come back here, delete it, run it, notice that this right here is just easier to see, right? It doesn't say another comment. What if I get rid of this comment? Save, reload, come back in here. I I'll leave that one there, I'm gonna go a line below and hit it. So notice now it's it's not understanding that those are auto hotkey comments and it's inserting it into my text just like you would um, just because it, it doesn't know it's an auto hotkey comment it's just saying okay just insert that's regular text right so that's how you can d you can enable having comment I think you can actually put C or um, com um, or comment I put comment just because if I ever go back to this and forget what in the world C means um, I don't want to have to figure it out so now I can have comments in there. And another very helpful one, let's say that um, you had said something here. Um, this, I'm just writing out something where I have an example where there is a percent inside my join command. Now when I save and reload this, it says, there, hey, there's an error right because you have a percent in here now I have one of two there's two ways I know right now to, how to take care of that one is I could put in the tick mark and basically escape it so now when I reload it didn't have an error I'm gonna get rid of all this and hit that now notice it put it in here right and dumped it the way I wanted it to let me add a couple more notes here just make it a little prettier more obvious that it's a comment um, that's that works fine but what if you have you know like 30 or 40 lines and you have percent signs everywhere and that gets very tedious because then you have to go back and then you make a tweak and you have to go back because usually I I develop my SQL and actual the, the SQL developer code and then I bring it over here and make it into a hot string or a hot key or, or that's what actually all of these are is where I can I can um, call up a GUI menu and it will let me just show you because it is pretty awesome so in here I can come in and I can say oh I want to do my join and I want to join these two tables and I've stored the syntax for doing that right so it just dumps it in exactly the way I'd want it um, or a quick look quick look at our all activity table um, and unfortunately notepad of course doesn't render the same way and I'm uh, we're afraid to do it in here um, but it, it's a quick easy way for me to pull up basically little templates um, 
this is the one I was thinking of. So see all of that stuff? And it's it's just great because now I have a template for me. I don't have to go find it. And yet it's it's pretty involving, right? There's a lot there. Um, but what I do is I'll go in here and let's say that there were percent signs here and there in here. And then I'd have to go back and, and work on it and update it and then go find the percent sign and escape them. So what I normally do, I don't escape it here. Um, what I do is I add a percent sign up here. And now when I reload this, now now site and in other editors too, I've seen, well, if they do IntelliSense, they, they might start misinterpreting the color coding because it's not used to having a percent just sit there all by itself. Um, but it's okay, it still runs. And let's go back to Notepad. So now when I hit it, it still works correctly, right, dumps it out, but I don't have to keep updating every time I go back and refresh this or if there's a percent signs everywhere, um, I don't have to go escape them, right? It just says, hey, when you see a percent sign, treat it as an actual percent. Don't treat it as a variable trying to populate it with something. Oh, boy, and you can insert, and it's been a while for me, but let's say Let's say you didn't actually have that, but you did have um, percent uh, variable from, let's say the name of this thing changed. This table changed. Um, so I think I could do something like this. And up here, oops. So I'm going to save it, reload it, and now, hopefully, when I come in here, so notice how it dumped in hello world, right? And that was because I said, hey, put in this auto hotkey variable in here. Um, and I'm pretty sure if I, if I added the percent here, that would no longer work. Uh, but let's give it a try. Yeah, see, now it, it says treat the percent signs as literal, and so that you can't have the combination of those two. You have to be one or the other. Um, it, it is nice being able to, to dump in variables in this sometimes, right? You want to dynamically go pull something and insert it into your text, which could be very helpful. But um, it's the exception rather than the rule for me. I, I rarely am doing stuff like that. Let's see. Uh, comma. So here, percent signs. Um, you, can, you can add in. So we, let's say, and you know what? Just because that will drive me nuts, I'm going to get rid of that. And um, I don't, this, this doesn't matter for this purpose. Let's say I I wanted in here to have this indented, um, but when I actually want it sent, I, I haven't tested this in a long time, but um, I'm just reading my notes up there. Let's see if now, when I come back into Note, and I'll leave that one there so we can see it. So see how this one up above was indented? right uh, after the first line it, it mirrored um, what I actually have but let's say when I actually have it sent I didn't want it indented I just wanted it to see it in my auto hotkey code indented but I didn't want it to be that way in when it was actually sent so that's what that L trim and there is an R trim as well um, you can tell it to, to trim off the, um, the for each line the, uh, the left or right um, padding type things so that's it I just thought it, it, it um, it's one of those that even though I, I've seen the code, it it's not incredibly well documented or known, and I'll see people use join, but it always confused me, so I wanted to give an example of how join works, and uh, how it can, if you have long sections that are, that the context, especially, like I said, when you have something, oh yeah, notepad it in, like, um, like some, some, of, some of these, where I'm that it um it's a big area that that you actually want to see it in your code that way like actually if I find over here this is my menu driven one out oh, and here's another one this isn't that one I think but um it's so much easier to look at and to borrow from than it is to to add in the tick lines and ha try to make it look you know um represent the way it's going to output it and this way I can come right back into here and look at it and make sure that it's exactly the format I want and then have it send that I'm dumping it in my example to the clipboard so I first store the clipboard and then I copy all that to the clipboard 
um, and then I restore the clipboard after. Um, in some of the programs I found at work, at least that I that that's a better way because I don't always have the UAC disabled and just can't send stuff. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.